rest of the earth, two thirds of it was covered with water, two and a half miles deep. In addition, two thirds of the continental plate, our continents, were covered by what science called shallow seas. Know that? Everybody know that? Pretty much? Shallow seas. Shallow seas aren't exactly shallow, but they are seas. They're really oceans. In fact, two-thirds of the North American continent was covered by one of these mm, shallow seas that was mm, pretty much an ocean. That's why the trees are different on either side, you know? You ever notice that? Trees are different. Long time covered with water. The problem with that is that that means that sea level was 400 to 600 feet deeper for the whole world. That's about a third to a quarter of Earth's water. Gone. Where did it go? Must be somewhere, unless somebody, I don't know, licks it. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Where did that water go? If that theory is right, how could two-thirds of the continental plates be covered with shallow seas that brings the sea level of the Earth up to 400 to 600 feet deeper, and now it's not true anymore. Where did it go? I don't know. There were no mountains on Earth. <coughs> Geologists will, not, will tell you that's not true. There were no mountains, there were no Himalayas. The Andes are about 20 to 25,000 years old, million years old, 20 to 25 million years old, the Andes. The Rockies, about 45, 50. Himalayas, about the same. <coughs> There were no mountains on Earth to impede the migration of dinosaurs anywhere on Earth. We've known this for oh, 30, 40 years. But geologists have theories as opposed to facts. <laughs> we have facts, we have theories. Okay. Kids geologists mad at me because they, after a while, if nobody says, hey, shut up, okay, it's a theory. It's not a fact. Then you meet young geologists and they say, well, we've had mountains for billions of years. No, you haven't. Name them. 80% of the mountains that we now have on Earth rose up in the last 60 million years. That's after the dinosaurs died. 80% of the mountains that we have on Earth today rose up in the last 60 million years. They don't tell us that in geology. Yeah, we had mountains. Uh, bullshit. Uh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> it's baloney. It's baloney. You know, and I, 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 I have arguments on the internet with these guys. And I go, okay, fine. Name the mountain range. We can pretty much know the mountains that we have. Which ones were around 200 million years ago? None. Well, maybe there were other ones. Oh, and they all filed down. <laughs> they, <laughs> they wore down. They say, no, mountains wore down. Well, I don't know. The Appalachians have been here for about 200 million years. Some people say 300 million years, and they're not worn down. In <laughs> fact, sediments cover the bottom two-thirds of the Appalachians, so they can't wear down. So maybe geology works different in other places in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Thank you. It's just not making sense. But what happens is theory is replacing fact. And the more theory that you make up to explain all the inconsistencies in the facts makes everybody think that maybe they're true. So that's what they teach. What? There wasn't one tiny island in the massive rest of the world? All the continents were together on one side. No little island, no New Zealand, no Coney Island. <laughs> Somewhere where a little bit different ecology might have evolved? No, because they've checked. No island, no continent, anywhere on the world. I would call this a coincidence. Sherlock Holmes and I agree. I don't believe in coincidence. All the continents got together, and they all came together on one side of the Earth because there was a magnet there. What? They, somebody stumbled and they all crashed into him? What could have caused it? I mean, just logic. Now, they made it worse recently, fairly recently. They said, guess what? 
Not only was there a Pangea 